Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Kearns here, shooting another video for our YouTube channel. We got five subscribers so far. I'm hoping we can get all 14 of you. I know that a lot of people watched that first video, but you gotta click the subscribe button underneath the video to get all the other videos, like this lesson here today. How are you guys doing? Let me know in your emails. Let me know on the YouTube comments. Are you able to comment on those videos? What are you guys up to? How are you doing with reading? What chapter books are you reading? How are you doing with science? How's that going with food chains? Um, how's it going with the weekly readers? How's it going outside? Are you guys playing outside? It's a beautiful day today. I want to know what you guys are up to. We've got to stay in contact. So let's take a look here at a math question. Uh, we're in unit six here. I think that this is lesson three. So I'm on lesson three for unit six, guys. There's no hurry on doing these lessons. We have a long time to work through them. At school, we take our sweet time too. We're talking about questions that are missing add-ends or missing factors here. And let's take a look at our first question. Write a situation equation and a solution equation, then solve the problem. I really like how it said a situation equation. Now we know guys that when we're doing these types of questions, word problems or word situations that it's really just a situation that we're trying to figure out. So let's write that situation equation. Let's figure out what our equation is. Eight vans with the same number of students. So right there, we already got some information. How many vans are there? There's eight. And then it says with the same number of students in each van. So we don't know how many students are in each van, but we know that each van has the same amount. And you guys also know that when we're counting by the same number, a lot of times that is a multiplication question or a division question because we're doing our skip counting, counting by multiples of that number. So, we have eight vans. I'm gonna put my situation equation up here. Eight vans with the same number of students. Of means multiply. I don't really need to know that yet, but it helps. Students S, eight vans with the same number of students in each van took 40 students to the science center for a field trip. So 40, there's our situation equation. Now we're missing a factor and we used a variable. So we're still trying to use the things that we've been learning for this lesson and for this unit. You guys know as we go through math, each grade gets a little more difficult. In third grade now, we're adding variables, things that are unknown that they use a letter for instead of a box. Our letter is S because, well, we're missing students here. So we use some common sense and might as well use an S. All right, so we're missing a factor. We could count by eights to get to 40 to solve this, right? What is the solution equation though? How do we solve a missing factor question? We do the opposite, right? We're gonna divide guys. So our solution equation for this one is gonna be 40, we're gonna start with that big number. Divide by the smaller number. We're gonna count by this smaller number. We're gonna count by eights until we get how many students were on each bus. Or I guess a van. All right, so let's count by eights, guys. How do we wanna do that? We can go on our, let's use notebook here. And let's just count by eights, guys, till we get to 40. Eight, 16, 24, 32. And we know, guys, that two plus eight is 40, or two plus eight is 10. So we're gonna go up to that next 10, 40. I'm a little rusty, guys, it's been a while. Was off for maternity leave there for a month. And uh, now we're not at school and I'm really missing teaching. And I'm glad that we're able to do this because I'm able to uh, 
still know what I'm doing. All right, so how many eights went into 40, guys? How many eights? One, two, three, four. It takes five eights to make 40. And many of you are probably thinking, wow, this is pretty easy. Because I knew that eight times five is 40. So let's go back into our workbook here. And our S is 40. I mean five. Because it took how many eights? It took five eights. So five what? What's our label? Five students. It's always hard to remember in third grade to do those labels. And I like to circle my answer too. So you have our equations. We showed our work on a separate piece of paper. We counted by our eights and we wrote our answer and labeled it. Does that make sense? Makes good sense to me. All right, guys, we're just gonna do one here. I think that you guys are gonna be able to solve most of these. They're a lot like this one. If you have any questions, reach out on the YouTube channel, reach out on the emails. Give me a call. I'll be in the school a lot here, just kind of waiting to hear from you guys. I'm gonna go see if any of your work came in today and see if I can start grading some of that and see how you guys are doing at home. But that's it for now, guys. Holding down the fort here in the classroom. Hope you guys are doing awesome. I know you guys are awesome. And let's talk soon.